This video is about the cytoskeleton, which has to do with things that support the cell in its internal structure. So these are the things that give the cell its shape. There's two main things that we'll be talking about in this video. One is referred to as microfilaments, which are shown in red here in this picture. The other one are microtubules, which are shown in green. So this is actually a transmission electron image of a cell. So we're looking to kind of see the outline of the cell there. The red parts are the microfilaments, which are made of actin. The green parts are the microtubules, which are made of something called tubulin. Um, when it comes to these structures, the most important thing to know is that they support the outside of the cell. They are what gives the cell its shape. Uh, I forgot to mention this one, but the blue one in the center is the nucleus. We'll actually spend some time talking about the uh, microtubules first, because they're a little bit more complex. So for starters, we want to look at their structure. These things are uh, sort of circular in structure, and the microtubules are a little more complicated because they're actually like a fusing of a couple of different layers of microtubules. It's referred to actually as having a 9 plus 2 structure. If we count here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different rings around the outside, and then 2 in the center. So we've got our whole... 9 plus 2 setup here. You can see it with the uh, sort of cartoony version as well. Uh, again, this would come from an electron microscope. Or one over here, we've got 9 around the outside and 2 in the center, just like the other side. So this is one of those uh, sort of like cartoony textbook images that does actually look a heck of a lot like what scientists are actually seeing when they look in one of those transmission electron microscopes. Uh, to give you an idea for what these things actually do, uh, the microtubules are important for the cell during cell division. When we're going way back to this picture we're using earlier in the chapter, right here, the centrioles, they're composed of microtubules. So it's not just supporting the cell. They do have some other functions. We'll actually talk a lot about centrioles when we get to a process called mitosis, which involves how cells divide. But for now, it's good enough just to know that the microtubules compose the centrioles, and they're you know, something that plays a role during the process of division. They're not just for support. Uh, in some simpler organisms, like some uh, prokaryotic things, they're also for locomotion to help with movement. The flagella, which is this long kind of thin tail coming off of the end of this prokaryote, is used for locomotion. It sort of spins this thing and that helps it move through the water. This entire structure is composed out of microtubules. So I said to you before, they're a little bit more complicated. They're not only there for support, but they're also there for movement. Uh, the one that I uh, also have is, are the microfilaments. The other ones, going back to our picture here, the microfilaments are the ones that are shown in red. The, uh, the microtubules, all the things that we talked about with, with these three images, they're the ones that are shown in green. Um, the ones in red, they are also important for movement of some things. Uh, Single-celled organisms like amoebas kind of like crawl along, and they use movement in the actin to allow for that. But most things that are using them for movement are using them this way, where they've got the long tail, like the, uh, the flagellum set up. So just to break these down and kind of go through some of the points that are unique for each one that you should know, uh, for starters, the microfilaments are made of a protein called actin. This is actually an important protein that's used in our muscles as well. You should know that these are here to support the membrane. That's their main function. They are uh, used for movement in some things, but not many. These are usually sort of like, a, like crawling organisms, things kind of like the amoeba that, that just kind of inch along. So very simple, uh, single-celled organisms. The microtubules, there are some other things you should know for this one. Uh, for starters, they're made out of a protein called tubulin. The nice thing about this one is it pretty much gives away the, uh, the one that it belongs to. If I say, you know, which one of the two types of cytoskeleton has tubulin, hopefully you'd recognize, you know, microtubules are the one that would make sense to go along with that one. These are important in maintaining the cell shape. As we saw in that scanning electron image, they're in there and they're supporting the interior structures of the cell. They're important during cell division. And then the last one, well I guess we'll sort of add one to this, in the, the centrioles. 
So those are the things that are actually made up of the microtubules. And then the last one is they make up that whole flagella, which was that long tail-like structure that we were seeing coming off of that prokaryote, which has the 9 plus 2 structure to it. So those are just some simple things to know about each one. Overall, though, just going for the, the big picture idea, you have to know that there are things that are ultimately there to support the cell. I mean, that's their, their main function. The cytoskeleton supports the cell. It does have to do with movement a little bit, and you should definitely know what they're composed of, like the proteins that make up each cell type, or each um, uh, skeleton type, rather. So anyways, thank you for watching, as always, and I hope you learned something.